Yeah, so digital transformation in this era is absolutely critical to companies being able to succeed in the marketplace um, for multiple reasons. One of the main reasons is really time to market for products and services that their customers expect. So what we've seen is um, in many cases, customers are expecting quick turnaround times, they're expecting features and functionality being delivered at a pace that far exceeds what typical business processes are capable of. And so with digital transformation, it's more about how do we leverage technology in a way that allows companies to produce more revenue, serve customers better, uh, reduce costs within the organization, and that's um, absolutely critical to competing in the marketplace today. Yeah, there's many ways that, that technologies today can help drive competitive advantage in the marketplace. Um, one is helping organizations really be on the offensive, so really driving disruption and innovation in their marketplace. The second one is really helping organizations be on the defensive, right? So understanding how technologies play a role, how those organizations could be disrupted by the technology. And then finally, it's time to market. So technologies today enable companies to build products faster than they've ever been able to do before. And, and that in itself creates a time to market competitive advantage for those organizations. Yeah, so security and privacy are, are absolutely critical uh, during digital transformation and enabling digital transformation. You know, when you look at the privacy part of the question, you know, there's lots of laws out there that govern, you know, where data needs to reside, for example, in, in Europe, you know, they need to be in state. And so um, being an understanding of what those laws are and then having the right tools to be able to um, to be able to accommodate those laws are, are absolutely critical for digital transformation. Perfect example would be, you know, the ability to leverage, you know, data centers in a cloud environment that are in country, right? So that data residency rules um, apply and, and you're, you're accommodating for. On the privacy side, you know, when you're opening up, you know, um, lots of barriers to where that data is accessed from and how it's accessed, you know, you know, the ability to protect those assets, those data assets, is, is absolutely critical. Yeah, I would, I would you know, the, the most obvious case is, is banking, right? So when you look at the banking industry, you know, it was a large monolithic um, industry that was made up of lots of different pieces. And what we have seen is, you know, companies that have come in and taken, you know, components of that large monolithic structure, things like payments, for example, you know, with Venmo and PayPal that have really helped, um, you know, shape a whole new industry of, you know, financial technology companies.